Barbie. Oh, hey, Skipper, what's up? Oh, I love the Coca-Cola dress. Thanks, I love it too. You know how much I love Coca-Cola. Yep. Anyways, um, is it okay if I invite two of my friends over? Oh, um, of course, who? Oh, Renee and my one friend Thomas. Thomas? Skip, no, he's a year younger than me. And yeah, he's just my friend. Oh, that's nice. Yes, you can have them over. I'll go tell Chelsea and Stacy to start cleaning up the house. Yes, I don't have to. You have to help too. Never mind. Stacy, Chelsea. Yeah? What are you girls doing? Nothing. You sure? You're standing randomly in the laundry room when there's actually no laundry and Chelsea's sitting on the floor. You guys are up to something. Fine, we were spying on you and Skipper. Yeah, we know she's having friends over and we know what we're getting forced to clean that Skipper has to help. Yep, just make sure your rooms are clean because that would be really embarrassing if the house was messy. Yes, Barbie. Well, are they coming over? Yeah, I'm asked for Renee and she said yes and I asked Thomas and he blocked me. What? Why? Oh, he has this like joke where he'll block me and then he'll unblock me like a month later and say it's like a punishment or something. It's a joke. That doesn't really sound like a joke to me. It's a joke. It's a joke. He's my friend. Well, okay, if it's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke, I think. Yes, I finally cleaned my room. You mean I? I did all the work and you just sat there and told me what to do. Well then, we. We? Yeah, take it or leave it. Whatever. Girls, Skipper's friends are here. So go upstairs and behave. Well, okay then. Come on, Chelsea, let's go watch SpongeBob. Last one up there is a piece of chum. Hey, Skipper. Hi. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Renee. Come on in. We already are in, duh. Oh, well, you know what I mean. So, what's up with you guys? Oh, nothing much. What do you mean you've been doing nothing, Renee? You've been hanging out with Annabelle and Andrea. Like, the other day you had that big hangout and you, like, totally destroyed your house and it was super fun and your parents didn't even know about it. You were telling me all about it. Huh? Renee... You told me you were busy. Busy? Hanging out with Andrea and Annabella. Oh, well, I, um, I tried to invite you, but you didn't, you didn't answer your phone. I always have my phone on me. Renee, if you wanted to hang out with them and you didn't want to invite me, that's fine, but you didn't need to lie to me. I'm not lying, okay? Maybe if, maybe if you weren't, like, always wanting the spotlight all the time, I wouldn't have to do that. So, right back. That's tough. No need to put salt in the wounds. Just... I don't like being forgotten. Oh, you weren't forgotten at the hangout. W what do you mean? Oh, I wasn't supposed to say. But I might as well tell you anyways. Just, just don't tell Renee. But like, she was talking about you and saying how like, she's really mad at you and she doesn't know why. And that you're like really toxic and you make everything about you. Are you serious? I'm serious, girl. I'm serious. W what did Annabella and Andrea do? Well, they defended you, and they said that you're not like that. And they got into this big argument, and they both made excuses that they had to go. But, but Renee was one of my best friends. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Well, thanks for being a good friend, and friend, I'm not your friend. What? I, th I thought you were my friend. You thought wrong. <laughs> well, I'm back. Anyways, so, how about some food, Skipper? I'm starving. You never provide anything for us. Like, you're the host. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll get some pizza. How rude of me. This pizza's like really greasy, not gonna lie. So greasy, that's why I'm not eating any. There's no grease, but if you say so. Yeah, I'm not eating this, you know. Grease is just really bad for me and it causes my face to break out and, and, ugh, I'm just, that's why I just can't stand pizza. What's wrong with pizza? Because it makes my skin look bad. Ugh, you don't understand, Skipper. You don't know what it feels like to be pretty. Did you just, anyways, but yeah, like, ew, pimples are, like, so gross, and I get them from Greece, so I'm not eating this. Like, oh my goodness, my yearbook photos last year, I had a pimple on my face, and, like, I could not have my yearbook photos looking like that, right? So I pretended to be sick for, like, three days, then it went away, and I did makeup pictures, and they did really good. That's, that's cool. Yeah, I bet you can't relate. What do you mean? Your smile's like so forced. It makes your eyes look so squinty and nobody could even see your eyes. Like, uh, you don't look bad, Skipper. It's just your smile, you know? Well, I don't go criticizing you, Renee. So if I were you, I'd like, stop. Okay, chill. Anyways, guys, like, also, 
like skipper i thought i should tell you um your best friend andrea was actually gossiping you um about like she was just talking about you the other day and they weren't really good things she had to say and we were all hanging out and having a great time we had such a great time by the way and she was just saying that you're really toxic and that she's pretty mad at you and she doesn't know why and yeah maybe that friendship isn't working out well i don't believe that andrea said any of that and she's my best friend so if i were you i'd stop talking trash about her hey why are you being so rude to me Ugh, you didn't even text me today well you could text me you know i was just busy today well no like you have to reach out to me skipper am i not good enough to you or something N no you are i've just been busy today i'm sorry anyways um come on thomas we're out of here bye really yeah well was it nice seeing two of your good friends and you haven't seen apparently they're not my good friends oh dear what happened what happened skipper it's oh my gosh i don't want to talk about it skipper if you don't get it off your chest you'll never be able to breathe that's true this has actually been going on for like a month now honestly maybe longer well skipper what's happening well, Renee is just, well, she's just, I don't know. She's, like, been doing these things. Like, she never reaches out to me. She expects me to put all the effort into this friendship. She talks about me behind my back. She lies to me. She excludes me on purpose. She tries to start drama. She embarrasses me. She tears me down. Skipper, that does not sound like a friend. But I considered her my friend. Like, what? Like, is this a joke? Is this really Renee? Like, she, she she's not like this, Barbie. Maybe she is. But why? why? Why would she want to be my friend? I've done everything for her. I've helped her with her homework. I've been so nice to her. I've been so supportive of her. I have her over. We have fun. I'm just a good friend to her. Like, why doesn't she see that? Why doesn't she want to be my friend? I, I don't get it. Plus, I kind of call her out on this stuff like a month ago and she still hasn't stopped. Like, she hasn't changed. She's still doing the same stuff. Oh, Skipper, you can't force someone to see your self-worth. You can't change someone who doesn't want to change. And you can't hold on to someone who doesn't want to be held. But why? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I want to be her friend, or at least I wanted to. Skipper, sometimes we don't get what we want because we deserve better, and God knows that. He's closing this door for a reason. And you know what happens? Every time a door closes, another one opens. Why would I be your friend in the first place? Like, I don't understand Like, he had me be your friend in the first place. Who knows, maybe you were planting seeds in her. You know, you were really nice to her. And the way you treated her, it will stick with her. Hey, someone was nice to me, and I treated them like, like poop. Yeah, that's true. Why do I keep getting into these situations, though, with, like, toxic people? I don't, I don't understand. Like, why do I keep attracting these people? Well, Skipper, God tests your patience by putting you near fake people. That, that's true. And it seems like you've been very patient because you've been dealing with this the right way for the past month. And today, I'm guessing you had enough. Yeah, I have. Then she was saying she was mad at me for no reason. Like, I didn't do anything to her. I was a nice friend. You know, Skipper, maybe she's just jealous. Jealous of what? You're beautiful. You have a loving family a nice home, and you're joyful, you're radiant. But she's pretty too. Skipper, she may be pretty on the outside, but she's not pretty on the inside. And if you're not pretty on the inside, you don't seem pretty on the outside, no matter how beautiful you are. I see what you're saying. But like, I just don't understand why she has to be like this to her best friend. Why is she even like this in the first place? Who knows, I have no idea. Remember, broken people do have sharp edges, but that's no excuse. And how she treated you is not okay. And I think it's starting to start making new friends. That's, that's true. And hey, well, Andrea and Annabella, they've been your good friends. Yeah, they actually stood up to her when she was talking bad about me. That's great. And when she was talking bad about them, I stood up for them. That's great, Skipper. You see, the right ones never leave. Some people come into our life as blessings, and some come out of our life as lessons. And I think that Renee and Thomas are a lesson. You know what, Barbie? You're right. You know, maybe that's good that they're not going to be in my life anymore. Yeah, it always feels good to cut toxic people out of your life. Yeah, 
And plus, you'll have many other doors of friendship opening for you. That's true. What's coming is going to be way better than what's gone. Exactly. What do you say we have our real friends over? Yes.